Hi everyone, I am Muhammad Makki Javed, a PhD scholar from Pakistan. First of all, I would like to thank all the organizers and the BDRA team for considering my abstract for flash talk and my research work that was on wild feed relatives, a unique source of post resistance and the introduction of new ideotypes in current cultivated red feed. Really, I am very pleased to share the result of my preliminary PhD research work with you. And uh, I hope your suggestions will improve my uh, future research activities. And I will conduct my research in more scientific and accurate way. Actually, today's short talk is about the genetic improvement of rust resistance in wheat, which is not new things as since the Green Revolution, almost all the national and international wheat breeding programs are especially focusing on rust resistance breeding, along with genetic improvement in yield potential, adaptations to abiotic stresses, as well as improvement in grains quality and stuff. But our approach was slightly different from the existing as instead of crossing the best genotypes with the best one, uh, which is still widely used and popular approach among breeders, we directly used unadopted near estrogenic lines that were derived from their wild feed relatives. And luckily, these species, beside the source of resistance, also become the source of introduction of new ideotypes in the currently cultivated bread feed varieties. As you can see here uh, that is LR34, no, uh, sorry, LR28, which was used for the introversion of the into the Galaxy 13, that is Mega Beat Varieties. Here, uh, the genes were integrated into Galaxy, and uh, the, for, for this, backcrosses were made. Similarly, uh, approach, the similar approach were used for LR34, wire 10, and wire 15 for the establishment of biparental populations. Uh, the target population was F2 biparental and backcrosser population. Similarly, for uh, multiparental population, three layers and backcrosser uh, crosses was done. For uh, phenotypic selection, the artificial rust inoculation condi conditions were created for genotypic selection as a sub marker for shoes. And the, interestingly, we observed uh, the several unique traits among the progenies that you can see here. Here, that is uh, a com uh, compact spikelet, here, the branch spikelet, and here, the tall uh, plant. Here, you can see also a branch spike, uh, spike or head. Uh, uh, here you can also see the uh, stay green characters. To conclude, uh, we have, uh, uh, it is concluded that we, uh, wild wheat relatives are the unique source of host resistance and the introduction of genetic diversity. And in future, um, uh, we will uh, try to um, uh, test all these proteins in different agroecological zones for their adaptability and also the extraordinary tilting and plant leaf uh, will uh, be used for achieving high yield potential as well as the best suited for low input or organic farming. Thank you all for listening. Goodbye.